previously on Ween Plays Planet Explorers. Well, the crafting of the gun went pretty well. Now, you may be wondering, hey, I thought you were going to show us the creation of the gun. But, um, as you can see, it did turn out pretty cool. <laughs> but, uh, anyway, I did intend on showing you that, but it was a long process. I was in there for quite a while, kind of laying it out, and I thought, you know what? This kind of merits its own video, a walkthrough of crafting a gun, essentially. So you can stay tuned for that. Hey everybody, Weem here. Welcome to Planet Explorers. This time around, uh, we're not out running around in the world trying to stay alive and gathering food. We're actually going to take a time out and walk through the creation system for crafting a gun. Now, in my current series, I now have, uh, I guess we're on episode 8. I have been running around gathering food and trying to survive. And it's actually within that series I finally got to the point where I've crafted a, or I, I guess it's called replicating, I've replicated a um, grip for a gun. If I actually go in here and go into my templates, you'll see that I have the dual handgun handle and I also have the MS muzzle. So these are two components required to craft a gun. You basically have your handle and a muzzle. That's what it takes. So I thought I would take this time to kind of walk you through the process. I'm certainly no pro at this, but I do understand how it works. And a number of you have asked about these kinds of systems in Planet Explorers. You know, how do you craft a vehicle or how do you make a sword or gun? So I thought I, this I could dedicate a whole episode to this because it's it's kind of in depth and it takes a little bit of time. So we're going to just jump right into here. Now in my series I showed you the crafting of a sword it was pretty straightforward. You drag a hilt in and with the material you just kind of create the blade that you want. And that will calculate over here on the right for you the attributes of the weapon and everything. You simply save it out and uh, yeah you can use it right away. So this time around we're going to select the gun and you can see that gives us a longer area here to work with. and. Um, we're going to go ahead and the first thing we're going to put out is the handle. So what I want to do with that is actually, sorry, the double handle here, the one I actually have. I want to put this right in the center and you're going to see why in a bit, but um, this is kind of right in the middle. Now, I don't mean middle front to back this way. I do actually want this towards the back a bit to make room for the barrel, but um, I just mean uh, here the uh, along the x-axis I kind of want this centered here so we're gonna go ahead and set that right about there should work I've got a little bit of room for the stock back there um, probably enough I suppose I could use a little bit more room but that's not a big deal we're just gonna jump right in here and bring this plane up so you've got this reference plane and when you it's it's actually a pretty cool guide you can see you know where you're laying out um, blocks of material and everything it really this definitely helps so we're going to raise this right up here and uh, where the stock, we're going to build the stock off the back. That's where we're going to start. But um, I also want to use it for my muzzle. So just to kind of get an idea. In fact, we're going to raise this up a little bit. The muzzle needs to be probably about that height. And again, we want it centered. So I think somewhere around here is probably a good distance. And we do want it centered. So again, so we're going to put it um, right about there. So let's take a look stare down the barrel of the gun there so that looks pretty good I think that we have our distancing and everything pretty good there so let's go ahead and lower this down we're lowering our reference plane down to the back of the grip here because we're gonna build the stock off of here so I can press down on my uh, mouse scroll wheel so the middle mouse essentially to grab and move the screen uh, otherwise I can hold right click and swivel things around and then scroll wheel to zoom in and out so those are kind of the primary controls here now one of the other things I want to do is they've got a uh, system in here we're gonna down at the bottom we're gonna select material and we're gonna be using iron in this case that's what I actually happen to have my best material I have right now in my current world so we're gonna right click that so we have iron selected and we're gonna use this tool they have called mirroring now mirroring what that lets you do is it lets you place blocks down in one area and it will also place them in a mirror like fashion on the other side depending on the side actually depends on your selection here so if I hit X 
you'll see that it splits it right down the center of X and that's why I put the grip and the muzzle right in the middle. So I can basically put blocks down on the right side here and everything will be duplicated on the left side as well. Now that also goes for painting when you're doing dyes and you're putting down color you can actually uh, it, it's actually reflected on the other side so it saves you a whole lot of time you don't have to back and forth on both sides make sure you didn't miss anything you just do it on one side and you'll know it's happening on the other okay now that we've got that out of the way and we've we've kind of got our base set up here we're going to go ahead and start laying down some blocks now i'm going to tell you right now this isn't going to be the best looking rifle or anything it's going to it'll function hopefully it will function but um, it's not going to look amazing so we're just going to go ahead down here right click iron and uh, one of the things you may be wondering about is you can see iron on the bottom i only have 16 and these are very small individual blocks but it's not a one for one here in fact by the time i'm making this gun building out you know however i want to do it it's probably only going to cost me one iron um, maybe two i haven't seen anything cost two but i haven't made a lot of stuff either so who knows but even if it is two three or even five we've got 16 so we should be good so let's go ahead and get started here, the back end of the stock, like I said. So we're just going to go ahead and click and drag, and we'll bring this out to here or so. And I'm going to let go, and it's going to let me go vertical at that point. So we're going to go to about here. Now we can delete uh, blocks as well, and I'm going to get into that in a little bit, because I, I do want to have a hole through the stock back here. And um, in fact, you know what, we're going to do Control z and uh, by the way, undoing in, in this builder is a little different than out in the world. Out in the world, when you're placing down blocks, you'll do Shift-Z to undo something. But in here, you actually have the normal controls of Control-Z. So anyway, that's what I've done there. I didn't want that to be four wide necessarily. I think we're going to go with one, which again is going to be two wide because we're going to mirror it. And then we'll build up from there. So again, it's one wide. But when we let go, it gets mirrored, as you can see, on the left side. I think that's a lot better there. So let's see. I want to get in here and uh, kind of get underneath this and build this out a bit. So we're going to start here, drag this down. can be a little finicky sometimes to get what you want. The slightest movement of the mouse can kind of get you selecting out here. So you just want to make sure that you let go when you've got it where you want it. And don't wiggle the mouse. <laughs> and we single click again. So. Let's do that here one more time. Let's see where we're at. That's kind of cool. Maybe do one more of those. Why not? And we'll stop it a little short again. Actually, I think there is right. Yeah. Okay, so that's pretty good, right? That looks pretty standard. Now, I do want holes in this, like I was saying, so I'm going to show you how to do that now. Right now, we have a material selected. It's highlighted blue on the bottom. We got the green cursor. What you need to do is just actually right-click out here in the editor anywhere. That deselects it. So I have nothing selected now. If I zoom into the, uh, into the uh, stock here, you can see I can select individual blocks. And what we're going to do is we're going to select something like this and drag to I don't know maybe maybe here and let go now that's selected these blocks and so what we're gonna do is I was trying to show you the other side here is uh, it's not you know selected on this side but again when I delete over here as I'm about to do I'm just gonna hit delete on the keyboard you'll see that once again it's mirrored on the other side right so we actually have a hole shot through the stock there now I think we're gonna play with this a little bit and delete some more segments here okay it's not bad um, and I think we'll delete off the top we'll try to make this a little bit um, narrower or shorter I guess it is I don't know what do you think about that hmm yeah I think I think what we're gonna do is we're just gonna stick with that for now that's okay it's Looking at it now, it's not very thick compared to the rest of the gun, so maybe that's not um, maybe that's not going to work. Maybe I'll come back and make that a little thicker, but we'll get to that in a bit. Let's go ahead and get up here and start with the base of the body. Uh, we're going to go ahead and select iron. I may try and do marble in the gun. We'll see. <laughs> Be kind of strange, right? A marble gun. So let's get the reference plane. I was trying to select up there. It wasn't working up here 
and I'm going to rotate the view a bit. Okay, so we're going to select and drag. Now again, we're trying to get the uh, the main body of the gun. Now it looks like I'm going underneath the gun when in fact it's just that this level up here is a little bit lower than back here. So I can probably, um, let's actually rotate this here. This will give us a better view. So we can actually stop it short right there and go up. In fact, we'll just go all the way up to here. And then again, that's reflected on the other side, right? So that's looking good. Now we'll finish out this side here as well. Let's bring the reference plane up. Something like that. Drag this out. Maybe back a little bit further than I did the stock. And do that. Now, I accidentally did a little bit taller than I needed to there. So I can either come back and make this thicker or I can just do Control Z. And we can try that again. Let's go to here and up, and I think that, oh, I got a little thicker width, but not height. And you know what? That's fine. That looks all right. That's kind of cool. Now, one thing I don't know how to do, actually, is uh, I know how to make a hole, but I'm wondering, does that go all the way through? Okay, cool. So that does not. So you can do some cool things over here. Um, if I select like this here, right? So you can do some interesting things. Now a lot of this looks um, pretty cool once you get it colored as well. This does look a little odd to have a silver chrome looking gun. But once it's colored it looks really cool. These kind of details can really stick out and um, add some dimension to the gun. And I'm not a gun expert or anything, but obviously there's a lot of things like this. There's a lot of um, divots in the gun. and and uh, these these kind of things sometimes it's where the ammunition is put in so we're gonna do these kind of things and just kind of at will just kind of pick spots and do kind of random little things like this and and we'll see how it turns out once we get the uh, color going and again this is the reason why we have mirroring right we get the exact same thing going on the other side saves a whole lot of work and make sure we're being really consistent so this is pretty decent now one of the things I think might be cool is to actually have the front portion of this gun, the area over the this uh, front grip up here, be actually quite a bit bigger. Um, and I don't know if it's going to look all that great, but let's try it anyway. Never know till you try. So let's get the reference plane up to the point right on top of the gun there. We'll select up here. I'm going to guess that because I can delete any excess that's wrong and basically bring this back to maybe do this to here maybe and I'm just gonna make this one height okay sure I'm gonna bring this up one say there we're gonna do that again something like that but we're gonna bring it in just a little bit um, I think that's right something like that so it's kind of stepped up, you can see towards the front. But then we're going to make a pretty big jump up here. Now, as you can see, I've got it sticking out towards us a little bit uh, more than I had it originally down there. But you know what? It looks kind of cool that way, right? It's got this little ledge up here, this little lip out the top. And that's actually kind of cool, I think, because, like I said, I just want to get this area up here to be kind of big. And it may be um, an exaggerated look, like, you know, that's... A gun would never be that big <laughs> but that's okay we're gonna do it anyway so let's do that part now we're gonna basically bring this to here and then I'm gonna go up with this maybe to this point there and let's take a look at that so that's pretty intense um, but it's it's pretty cool right I think I think it looks pretty awesome so what do you think of that it's kind of like a it's short but it's kind of cool looking I actually really like this so we're gonna keep this going now with this being as big as it is the stock now looks comically small <laughs> so we're gonna have to get back here and and address that it looks really really tiny and it makes sense if you look at the size of the handle if that's your hand this stock is way too small so let's see I'm trying to think of what's gonna be easiest here we definitely need the mirroring back up there we go and I think it might just be easiest for me to delete all of this 
since it's only one thick, I can actually do that, delete, and sure enough, it gets rid of everything. So we're going to do that again here. So there we go. Now, let's do this. Now, what I'm thinking might be cool is actually to bring the stock off the upper portion of the gun here and then come down with it at an angle, but um, hmm, just not sure. We'll have to try it. So grab some iron, select here, go back, make it that thick or so. And then we want to do that again. Now, I'm going to make the stock reach up into towards the front of the gun a bit. Um, probably make that a little bit wider as well. well. Something like that. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. Now, hmm. I may actually have to lower this down. Bring this down a bit. Get this in here. Like so bring this in okay now we're now we're going okay so let's make this lower part um, something like this and then come down okay so that's a little bit better now I do want to make uh, kind of angle that a bit off the back I'm not sure I want it flat I suppose it's not that big a deal right but um, it might be kind of cool if it angled in some way. Let's see. I definitely want to add more meat to this, though. Okay. And then we'll do... We'll start to angle this back a bit, kind of like the last time. What do we think? Hmm. Not sure I like it that much. Let's go ahead and try deleting some of this. Yeah, maybe this will be the way to go right here. Something like that. It's possible. Okay, and then do I want a, a hole in this? Hmm. The question. Let's see. If I did something like this. Let's try it one, and I'll have to do it again back here. Yeah. It's not bad. It's kind of strange, I guess. Maybe if I did some kind of divot here that doesn't go all the way through. And did that on this side as well. You can even do it along the bottom, along the top. What do you think about that? It's not terrible, but I don't know. It, that, that's not bad. It's it's a bit small, um, but you know what? I think it's fine. I think uh, I think we'll just leave it at that for now. Kind of looks like this thing can slide forward. In fact based on that what we can do is actually come in here and select this area like so and just delete that and that way it gives it that look like this stock can actually slide back a bit I don't know might be kinda cool I wonder if I can um, select a single bit along here to and delete it if that helps yeah not much not unless I delete this as well yeah, what do we think about that it's not terrible. Of course, now it makes me want to delete this portion here. And that bit. What do we think? That's cool. I don't mind that. Might have to do some little divots in here, maybe. Almost as if these are areas that the stock can kind of catch and lock into. Might be kind of cool. Something like that. Alrighty, now... Now, how detailed do we want to get with this part up here? I don't think I'm too concerned, really. I don't think it needs to be all that crazy. Plus, I'm just trying to show you the creation of my gun here and kind of how this all works. So I'm not going to worry about getting all crazy with a scope or, or anything like that. One thing I do want to do is make the, um, the part where the muzzle meets the gun. I want to change this up just a little bit. I think what we're going to do is we're going to delete some of this initially. And uh, I may have to move the muzzle back. Um, I had to scroll in here last time, right? See if I can select this. No. Can't seem to select the muzzle. It's almost like you have to get it at a certain angle. Okay, well, not that big a deal just yet. I think, actually, it's probably fine. It looks like it's actually touching there. So 
I probably built up around it anyway. In fact, I could just do that right now, uh, build up a bit into the uh, muzzle and then dig back on it so I can kind of, um, that's not what I wanted. This is just not dragging the way I want it to. <laughs> Let's try a different angle of view here. Yeah, it's trying to go the other this way with me. Well, I guess that's okay. We can actually go to here and then go down. Right? Yeah. Excellent. Now let's select this area. And delete it. Delete this area. It's not bad. That's kind of cool. I think I will do a ridge along the top as well. It doesn't have to be necessarily a full-blown... Um, sight or anything. Alrighty, well, I think we're good. Uh, maybe cut out a couple more details here at the front. Uh, let's see, we gotta switch off the material and choose an area, right? Something like this. Maybe I could cut in some kind of almost like exhaust lines here. Might be kind of cool. Just a few of these. Yeah, might be kind of cool. And then maybe, hmm, maybe, maybe I'll bring this line up. Actually, I've got this diagonal line from the grip and one up at the top. If I follow that up to here, maybe I can do something like this. Uh, let's see, is that the right line? Yeah. I don't know, what do we think about that? Hmm, I think I liked it better before like this. I could go the other way and bring the iron down this way. Um, let's see, how would we do that? Something like this. Oh, that stuck out, I didn't mean for that to stick out. I just wanted it one thick and kind of right above this area. Something like that, and maybe bring this down to here. Do it again. A little less pronounced. Now, that actually doesn't look bad sticking out. I, w I didn't intend for it to stick out like that. But um, I think what, we're, what we'll do is we'll actually leave it that way. Let me try... Um, I kind of wigged out there for a second. Let's see here. I think I'm selected on the... Uh, the uh, grip. Let's try this. Yeah, it's not bad. It's only one thick. The other ones are two. I guess I could do that again. Huh, not bad at all. In fact, I'm going to cut this little corner out because they've got these angles. Looks kind of cool. Interesting. Hmm, wonder if I could do that here too. Something like that. What do we think? Whoops, didn't mean to do that one. Alrighty, something like that. Hmm. Okay, well, I think that's pretty cool. I know I know it looks a little blocky and everything, but I kind of dig the blocky look. So let's go ahead and jump into Let's see, we're gonna jump into painting now. So we don't, actually we do need the mirroring. Sorry, I was gonna say we don't need the mirroring, but we do want that. Let's go right into dyes and pretty much gonna go black on this one. I don't intend on doing any kind of weird coloring or you know any kind of pinks or blues or anything like that. So let's just go ahead and show you. You've got the circle here of the dark color and I'm just gonna left click and hold and you can see it mirroring on the other side there. So. That, like I said, it makes things much easier when it comes to coloring and just building it out, building your gun. So much easier with mirroring. Okay, as you can see, we've got the gun die all set up, and I think it's looking pretty sweet. I'm, I'm definitely ready to get this thing uh, put it to use. So one of the things I realized was that these dies, I was thinking that these ones in here were free and there were other colors that you'd buy. But actually, you can use these and then it, it calculates what you need to spend, just like when you're doing materials. 
So in this case, what it looks like anyway is that it's kind of a one-to-one -one thing. So I'm using 16 iron, and you're not seeing it here, but when I go to export, in fact, we'll just go ahead and do that, you'll see that I need 16 iron, that's fine, but I also need 16 of the uh, pigment. Now what I did was I went out and got that, so I bought just enough so that we can make this thing. So one of the other things too I want to point out is you can see the attack damage is listed here. Now if over on the right you can go to uh, the attribute and um, calculate that thing. And so we can see the final attack is 126. Now the bullets are going to add to that. I forgot how much that is, but we'll see that in a bit. And uh, so that's pretty good. I mean we might be close to 140 or so. And the bow is 60, the arrows are 12, so it's about 72. So we're probably getting close to doubling the, uh, the attack output. Now, I'm not sure how that kind of equates to damage or anything. Uh, obviously the damage says 16.2 here, but um, the attack is what it shows on the bow, so that's kind of what I'm comparing to. So let's go ahead and export this thing. We've got the materials. So look through this again. We've got the uh, we definitely have the iron and we got the grip, the muzzle, and the die. So we're gonna go ahead and export this guy. So it's telling us it's done that. So now all we need to do is jump out of this and uh, we can check it out. Alrighty. Well, as you can see down in my number two slot, I have the bullets already down there. So we come into here and you can see this kind of black icon is showing our gun and all of its numbers. So in fact, now I'm seeing that the attack is lower and maybe that's just the muzzle and its contribution. But um, anyway, we're gonna go ahead and take this, set it down here, close this out, right click, and there you go. Right on the, our back, if I don't zoom in too far, <laughs> you can see we now have the rifle, very cool. So I can actually get this out. Like I'm gonna get my attack going here. It's looking pretty sweet. Now the bullets say zero. We've gotta kinda of right click and make sure those are set. But um, yeah, there we go. That gun is looking pretty cool. So let's go ahead and give this a whirl. We need to find something to test this on. Let's see what we're dealing with here. Well, I think we found our enemy, so let's go ahead and get the gun out here and let's give this thing a shot. So, let's see here. Okay, one shot and looks like two took him down. Now with the bow, it's usually three to four. So yeah, that seems, that seems on par. We're going to go ahead and collect this, you know, while we're out here, we might as well. So, uh... We've got a couple other guys around here. Let's go ahead and do this again. Kind of get up close this time. Now I don't think I don't think this game handles you know uh, shots in particular areas. I don't think a headshot does any more than anywhere else. But you know, hey, why not? Cool. He just went down. I wonder if he got hit before. Little guy went down too. But that is definitely much more efficient than the bow. I don't have to go chasing after all these guys once they scatter. I can just kind of stand there and take them all down. And that's going to go a long way towards gathering up all of this uh, steak meat, or as I've been calling it, my uh, steak dollars, <laughs> because it is the currency after all. And uh, yeah, the gun is definitely works very well. I think it looks pretty sweet. And uh, anyway, I hope this tutorial of sorts or guide uh, helped show you how to make a gun in Planet Explorers. Thanks for watching, and uh, I definitely appreciate it. If you guys like this, give it a like. If you have any questions, leave me a comment and see if I can uh, help you out there. Otherwise, we'll catch you next time.